The fate of Houston's Equal Rights Ordinance will likely be decided in court. Opponents of the measure filed a lawsuit seeking to force the city to put the measure before voters. That's after the city attorney invalidated thousands of petition sheets he says don't meet requirements. In the end, petitioners fell about 2,000 signatures short of what was needed to put the measure before voters this fall. Both Mayor Anise Parker and opponents suing her say that they feel confident the courts will rule in their favor. But which side will come out on top? That's our topic this how, uh, half hour, and we want to hear from you on Facebook and Twitter. Well, in the newsroom once again is Fox 26 legal analyst Chris Tritico, public policy analyst Jackie ba uh, Bally, and news analyst Mustafa Tamiz. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You know, the issue here is not, is the ordinance constitutional? We haven't even gotten there yet. Right now the issue is, is did Dave Feldman, the city attorney, and Mayor Anise Parker wrongfully intervene in the city secretary's um, review of those petitions and invalidate some exceeding their authority? That's really what we're talking about right now in the courtroom. And so who comes out on top of that? I don't think that there is any law that says this, the, the Dave Feldman, the city attorney, can't go in and make a legal review of these petitions, so I think that they lose that. Well, I think again, and, and that is the process, meaning when you, when you petition the, the city secretary, someone has to review that petition to make sure that you have the right number of signatures, and this petition did not, uh, and therefore it was invalid. And, and the mayor had said clearly, that she, she knew that the other side was going to go to the courts and she was not going to implement the, uh, anything up until the courts had clarity on this issue. Which is going to be a long time because we haven't even gotten to the part yet where they're going to sue over whether it's constitutional. You know, the, the, part of what uh, Jared Woodfull and the people that are, that are attacking this are saying is we had fif over 50,000 signatures, we only needed 17,000. Give me a break, city. Not only that, what, what Mustafa said is not quite accurate because the city secretary did say that they had the right number of signatures. Uh, they, had, they needed to have 17,000 and they had a, a little over 17,000 that the city secretary did say were valid signatures from uh, people who were registered to vote. That's when Dave Feldman came in and said, well, because the people who were getting the signatures were not, some of the people getting the signatures were not uh, registered voters, we don't count those. So the charter says that the city secretary is the one responsible for validating the signatures. She said that they had the right number of signatures. Then Dave Feldman comes in and says, eh, on this technicality, we're going to strike that and remove it. So that's really a key issue. So is Dave Feldman being hyper technical, uh, uh, over technical? Uh, that's kind of ludicrous, right? He's a city attorney. <laughs> It's his job to enforce it to make sure that this, that, that this process happens correctly. You ha not only have to be registered voters, but the pages have to be um, uh, certified. And so there are a number of pages that weren't certified. So, I mean, I, I, I find that amazing because that, that was not part of the lawsuit. The, the lawsuit, basically, the injunction uh, that was filed, the, the mayor and, and the injunction agreed that they're going to put this off uh, implementation up until the court's final ruling. So I'm not sure what the controversy is. All right, let me go to Hillary. She's monitoring our social media. Yeah, that's right. A lot of people on Facebook and our Twitter accounts are asking and wondering how much the bathroom situation plays a role in all of this. Adding that extra um, bathroom, people are just wondering, is it that big of a deal? Should it require this much press? Well, the bathroom situation is actually the thing that they're using to attack it. Um, it, it's, 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 a, it's a small part of the ordinance, isn't it, Jackie Valley? As, as compared to the whole, the bathroom issue is a very small part of it, but that's what Jared Woodfull is seizing on to drum up to support to, to attack it. That's one of the issues that some people are using. Other issues, are, other people are saying that the mayor said she was not going to have a certain agenda or, or impose her personal views, and, and they're saying now that it's her last term. She is imposing her personal views. Some people are saying that there is not a problem in the city and it's very strange that an ordinance of this type is now being proposed. Again, they're accusing her of, of using her own personal agenda, her own personal. And then again, whenever the, the opponents of this ordinance, they do come up with the number of signatures, the city secretary again says, yes, you have the right number of signatures, but then the city attorney throws it out. That's where he says he doesn't understand the problem. That's the problem. So what about this? Is this the mayor's uh, swan song? And I, I said I wouldn't use my personal uh, views to 
push my personal views through city council, but here I'm, I can't run again anyway, so I'm going to do it. Is, well, that, is that what happened? Well, people say a lot of things, but what's true or not is different. Uh, I mean, we are the only big city in the United States that doesn't have an ordinance like this, whether it's an East Park or any other mayor. We're the only big city in the United States that doesn't have an ordinance like this. It has wide support from the business community that has tried to make Houston and the quality of living in Houston a, a, a priority because we want to attract talent and we want to grow the city. So we're passing something that everybody else has already passed. This is just not a Nice Parker thing. This has wide, broad-based support. All right, we're going to have to leave it right there. We'll be back in the next hour here with two really, really good stories.